Hi, my name is Paul Grogan, and welcome to another Gaming Rules unboxing video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing Miss Thea. I don't exactly know if that's how you pronounce it or not. Various people have come up with various other ideas. But um, yeah, it's arrived today. Now, this is a game which I helped with the rulebook for. I was um, basically commissioned to give some rulebook consultancy early on, so I, I wasn't the full editor of the rulebook, but I did give them lots of advice and tips and direction with the rulebook. So, after working on a rulebook for a game, I kind of get a little bit interested in it to see how it plays out. So, they've sent me a copy of the game, and I'm hoping to get this played at some point later this month, or maybe next. But this is an unboxing video, so... Let's crack on and get into it. So, as I say, just arrived, still in shrink wrap. So let's get rid of that. Now, this box is heavy. I'll tell you that for nothing. I know that there's miniatures in the game. Oh, gosh. That's probably the reason why it's quite heavy. Uh, discover a new world. Explore and gain control of uncharted places shaken by bizarre forces. I'm not going to read the whole thing out. Um, but yeah, you can see the miniatures. We've got a components list here. Box feels good and chunky. We are two to five players, 90 to 120 minutes. I'm not sure how true that is. I've spoken to a couple of people this morning uh, who said, oh no, it takes a lot longer than that. So now artwork is always subjective. I, I personally like this style of artwork. Um, I don't know who the artist is. I should probably look that up, but let's just pop that to one side and see what we have. And I'm gonna give my opinion on the components. Right, now that's thick. That is very thick, that is very chunky. These, this is going back to my memory of uh, working on the game. Are these the player boards? Or are these the monster tracks? I'm not sure, there's only three of them and it's a two to five player game. So um, I guess these aren't the player boards. Maybe I don't remember as much as I thought. Um, okay, so this board, uh, this isn't as thick, probably because these don't punch out. And this is, this is punch card. Let's do Paul's punch test. Yeah, they're coming out quite clean. What about the circular tokens? Yep, yeah, they're all okay. Uh, can't remember what that is, but yeah, that's that's that punch board. Right, rule book. So I did the rule book. Uh, I say I did the rule book. I worked basically worked on the Google Doc. So I've not seen the actual PDF and layout. So when I worked on the rule book, it would have just been the text um, rather than any of the images or anything like that. So I'm gonna. I, I don't remember anything about it, as you can tell from not knowing what these boards are. Apart from there's miniatures, there's a thing that moves around on the board, I think. Um, but yeah, lots of images. Um, okay, so it looks like the rules are just the first half. And then the back we have description of all of the monsters and what they do, description of the encounters, description of all the cards and what they do, which is really good. But that's, that's I mean, that's it's probably more than half the rule book, but it's nice that they've put that in there to absolutely clarify what, what everything does. So, there's the rule book. Right, the miniatures. Okay, now. Oh, okay. Is more miniatures than, wow. Right, so the back of the box made it look like there were six miniatures in the game. Oh no. Right, there's lots of miniatures. Now, if I manage to keep up my, my painting frenzy, I should have these all painted by sometime in the 23rd century. Um, so as long as immortality has been discovered in the next 20 years or so, uh, then I'll be all right and I'll get these painted. So, yeah, now I'm not an expert on uh, miniatures to see what kind wow. Okay, that's really nice. That's obviously some kind of big bad boss. Uh, it's like an insect creature with, with a big sword. Um, so yeah, that's quite cool. So yeah, I don't know, uh, you know, all the different terminologies for, for printing, but these look quite good. They look quite detailed. Um, they're not like they don't look like they've been in the oven for half an hour like some miniatures do um, So yeah, they're, they're quite nice some bases. We've got some cards here we've Got some cards here now. I'm just going to open this and check the card stock Should have brought me scissors. Oh, no, we're in right Okay, so these are uh, Little cards and let's have a look. Yeah, fine um, Yeah, they're all good. They've got a bit of a linen finish and they're they're, they're good. So that's the cards. Right, so that's one layer. Second layer. Right, more miniatures. These look, yeah, these are tiny um, or cute. Just open that up. Right, so we have these usual uh, that a lot of games are starting to do now. Coloured plastic bases, which you presumably snap onto these so that you know uh, who's who. 
These are the player colours. Um, little stars, presumably for marking victory points or something like that. So yeah, some nice wooden components there in some unusual colours. But I guess that's good for colour blindness. Um, so yeah, these little ones. Oh, these are really cute. Um, yeah, okay, I like these. Yeah, so lots of miniatures. Little bag, not sure what that's for. Um, and some other cards. I won't open them, I assume they're going to be all, all okay. So yeah, two layers, and the good thing is the miniatures will go in there, and you can put them back in the box and it keeps it all sealed. Ah, right, we have two more of these boards. So maybe these are player boards. Yeah, these are probably player boards for the five players. Right, and then the game board. So we have, okay, it's a fairly simple game board. There's not much on that, but this circular thing clearly moves around. That's something I do remember. You will put cards here and here, presumably victory point track around the outside. So yeah, but the board is good quality, fairly thick. Yeah, ah, right, here's some extra bits. So yeah, there we go, more things. So there are five bits, get rid of that. Uh, so yeah, these five things will go onto the five spaces, but I'm sure something moves around. I can't remember if it's one of them that moves around or something like that, but I will find out once I've read the rules. Um, and then we have another, but oh, this is a big board. Right, so as well as the main game board, there is this. I think this is where the encounter cards go. I think you draft cards from this deck, something like that, but again, this is good quality. This is a good quality production game. And these look like player aids, wow. Or player aids or reference cards, but they seem to have on them a list of all of the cards in the game. And that can actually be really good. Now this is quite big and chunky, but this is a useful thing because people might want to know, you know, what, what's in the game, what cards are in the deck. So it's good to have that list. Let's just see what else we've got in here. I think it's just five of these. Yep, five of those. All the backers on here. So yes, good quality production. Now, for all of my viewers in New Zealand, you'll be pleased to know that I am now going to do a reboxing video. Although, and I'm going to put those two in first because that's where they, they were. But no, I don't think they should be in. Um, obviously, I've punched some bits out. Let's put the miniatures in. Uh, let's get that back on. Player boards. Are they going to stack two on a side? Oh no. So yeah, I'm not sure it's all going to go back in. Okay, but there's clearly a way that it, it does. And I will work that out because it all came out. So it all should go back in. Pop that on there. Pop that on there. There we go. Right. I don't think if they do any expansion sets for this game, it's not going to fit in the box. So there we go, just a very quick unboxing video and reboxing video of Mistia or Mist Here, or however you want to pronounce it. If there is a proper pronunciation, please let me know in the show notes below. As always, thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters who make this kind of video possible. And if you enjoyed this video and any of the other content that I produce, then please consider supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.